people. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, you handsome, creepy, awkward fuck. Like, I'm gonna have to be awkward and creepy for both of us in New York City now. Yeah. This is fucking hard. You got anybody drinking besides me? Woo! You guys, anybody drink Corona? Woo! I like I like Coors Light and Budweiser. I think Corona is just Budweiser poured through Mexican people's underwear. I know, what do you think? You guys, you play, you look like a young college guy, you play beer pong? I'm not really into drinking beer that's had the dirty balls dipped in it. Not my thing. Uh, I'll do an impression. Uh, anybody see the, the dog on the news last summer that called 911 and saved his owner's life? I think that went a little something like this. 911, could you please give us the nature of the emergency? I rub you. I love you. I love you too, sir. Could you please give us the address of the emergency? Bacony bacon. Because that's what dogs say, Yvonne. I'll give you some clown magic. I'm sure I'll fuck you to death. That's right. I'm fucking laugh at this shit. Uh, <laughs> you're right there, sir. This guy's like sitting there, like, what is this lesbian talking about? <laughs> uh, I was single for a long time. I know you're fucking shocked. <laughs> I know. But, uh, <laughs> this girl walked up to me in a bar and she was like, You have hair like a movie star. I was like, Oh god, really? Which one? She was like, The Elephant Man. Because <laughs> you see, he's not a handsome guy, Phoebe. Not now. Me and Phoebe have been really good friends for like a year and people are like, Oh, how come you never dated Phoebe? And I'm like, I think it's because she's more like a sister to me. I thought that one would be better. <laughs> I thought that would work out better. So you're into the Hasidic Jewish people? I like I like the guys that wear the cat beds on their heads that you can buy in Petco. That's my favorite kind of Hasidic Jew. I'm I'm a garbage man in my day job, if you did. I don't make a living off doing open mics on a Sunday like some of you. So uh, I like sweeping the streets in Brooklyn. Because the neighborhoods change from corner to corner when you sweep in the streets. It's like, I could be sweeping up yarmulkes and dreidels one second, and then sweeping up weaves and chicken bones another second. <laughs> and guys at my job hate doing that, because they think it's degrading and boring, and they don't make as much money. I think I'm making a difference, though. If I sweep up a bad neighborhood, if one kid walks by and doesn't see like shit all over the street, and maybe he'll stay in school that day instead of doing drugs, <laughs> or if one pimp doesn't punch a pregnant prostitute in the stomach that day, well, actually, maybe that'd be a good idea. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> maybe that's not so bad. But uh, you guys are obviously in New York City because I can see you right in front of me. So I think you should check out the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame <coughs> annex while it's here. I'm a huge music fan. I guess you guys, you guys hate music because you're evil. Fucking unartistic bastard. Um, no, but I'm a huge music fan, so. But I learned you can't you can't shoplift from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame annex, cause they'll they'll fucking they're watching out for that. And I was like, well, I was trying to walk out, and they're like, sir, you did not come in here wearing Prince's jacket from Purple Rain. There's no way. And they're like, what is that around your neck, sir? I'm like, this is my orthodontal headgear. Like, no, it's not, sir. That's Bob Dylan's harmonica, clearly. <laughs> sir, you did not ride in here on Billy Joel's motorcycle from the Moving Out video, wearing Madonna's bullet bra from Truth or Dare and a Born in the USA jacket. <coughs> like, no, I came in with that. I swear. So I'm on the I'm on the subway with my Grammy, and uh, I noticed this ad. This is so rehearsed and fake. I noticed this ad. <laughs> for uh, discreet abortions on the subway. It's a true story, actually. Except it happened like 10 years ago. So it was the other day I noticed this ad on the subway. And uh, it said, Jennifer doesn't want anyone to know she got an abortion. But there's a picture of Jennifer in the ad. <laughs> like, she doesn't want anyone to know, but everyone on the train knows now. I don't know, this, that was a kind of depressing reaction for that joke. I don't know. But I watched the commercials. This is a good segue. I watched the commercials for antidepressants. <laughs> I love these fucking corny segues. And uh, all the all the antidepressant commercials have 
The symptoms for the drugs are always worse than the, than the side effects for the drugs are always worse than the symptoms. It's like side effects may include diarrhea, nausea, sleeplessness, depression. There's a drug called Abilify, and one of the side effects for Abilify is suicide. Like, I guess that'll take the edge off that depression for a little bit. I don't know. Awesome. So, uh, <laughs> so I was doing crystal meth the other night, and I jerked off into a skeleton penis. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I gotta reevaluate my life. Um, <laughs> so, I was at Universal Studios one time. <laughs> I got stuck on the Philadelphia ride. <laughs> I had to watch Tom Hanks get aged for like three hours. <laughs> like, why did they even? Why did they even have a ride for that movie? It's like depressing. It's like the. It's right next to the the accused ride. <laughs> it's like just Jody Foster getting raped over a pinball machine. <laughs> Fucking sick. <laughs> this next guy coming to stage. He is gorgeous. He is talented. He is creepy, sexy, and funny, and awkward. Give it up for Ben Rosenbaum! <laughs> Joseph James, everyone, helping me off. Thank you. Joseph used all his time, unfortunately, so we can't give him any lovely feedback. All right. All right, next comic coming to stage, very funny lady, please welcome Phoebe Robinson! Yeah.